1993, we have Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike, by Electronic Arts, or EA as they're now known. Let's pop it in the old Genesis and see what it looks like today, shall we? Let me tell you, this game has one heck of an intro. You don't see intros like this these days. I don't mean to spoil it for you, but those two monkeys and two parrots die very shortly. A horrible, gruesome death. Just watch. That's right, Saddam Hussein and some drug lord decided to drop a nuclear bomb on an island full of monkeys and parrots. The plot line of Jungle Strike is fairly ridiculous, but uh, in that kind of campy, kitsch sort of way that only the early 1990s could have brought us. Plot lines like this and mullets are the two surviving legacies of the early 90s. So in Jungle Strike, you control that attack helicopter. Uh, it's taking off from the White House lawn. I believe uh, it may even be Marine One, the uh, President's helicopter. Well, not really, but anyhow, you patrol Washington, D.C. and try to destroy terrorists. The terrorists are fairly easy to recognize. They're the ones that are shooting missiles at you. And, uh, I just blew up the Washington Monument. I guess that's uh, one quick way to lose the game. Now I have to return to the base where they chastise me for destroying the Washington Monument. Way to go. Imagine having to uh, come back after doing that. Be like, uh, guys, uh, sorry about that, but remember the Washington Monument? It's gone. Anyhow, you have to kill all the terrorists and their terrorist-looking Volkswagen minibuses. Uh, I guess they're the same terrorists that um, terrorized Marty McFly. Uh, and Doc Brown in Back to the Future, because they're driving the same bus. And let me tell you, those uh, Volkswagen buses, they must be armor-plated or something, because they sure can withstand a bunch of uh, Stinger missile strikes. Anyhow, the controls in this game are quite straightforward. You use the D-pad on the Genesis controller, to move your helicopter around. And the A button fires a machine gun, and the B button fires your missiles. You do have a finite number of missiles, but I couldn't quite figure out where that information was. I just knew when I ran out of missiles. I'm sure if you hit the start button to go to your map screen, uh, that, that information is there somewhere, but it's uh, pretty poorly rearranged. Uh, or I should say arranged, not rearranged. It needs to be rearranged. Because I couldn't find it just by glancing at it. So that's your basic goal, to uh, clear the stage of terrorists. It's uh, somewhat reminiscent of games like Jackal for the NES. Except Jackal, of course, involved driving a uh, military jeep instead of a helicopter. Now, you can sustain several hits to your helicopter, uh, but not a whole lot until you uh, start flashing a low armor warning and then the next couple of hits will kill you. The graphics and sound aren't too bad for the Genesis. They're actually uh, pleasant to look at. Everything's more or less recognizable, except that horrible map scene. But if you buy this game for one reason and one reason alone, it's not for the gameplay or the graphics, it's for the hilarious cutscenes with Saddam Hussein and some South American drug lord. And that's not to say that the gameplay is necessarily bad. It's very playable, and it's uh, quite fun, actually. But the best part about this game is, by far, the storyline. 
It's just so ridiculous and over the top. The only thing that could have made it better was a voiceover by Steven Seagal. That would have been just perfect for this game. Can you imagine if this game was made with the technology of games today, with celebrity voiceovers and acting? I could just see Steven Seagal now. And that South American drug lord in the game, he should be played by Jean-Claude Van Damme. That would be fantastic. Anyhow, Jungle Strike can be picked up fairly cheaply. It's a pretty common game. And if the prequel to this game, Desert Strike, is anything at all like Jungle Strike, then that's on my to-pick-up list. Because I love bad 90s action movies, and this is like a bad 90s action movie turned into a video game. Perfect. The perfect trifecta. On the Genesis, nonetheless. The only thing that could have made it better is if it was on the Sega CD. And it might be, I'm not sure. I have to look into that. So definitely pick this game up and give it a try. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.